Welcome back to Now Let's Review. I'm Aaron. And I'm Zach. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Glion 225 Dolly Fold Electric Scooter. Stay tuned for our scorecard at the end. This is the Dolly 225 model. At $500, Glion is offering an affordable option for e-commuters. This scooter was made with the commuter in mind, which is surprising because the company is based in Nebraska. What sets Glion apart is the unique luggage-like dolly feature that we haven't seen in other brands. We were curious to see if this would actually make commuting on public transportation any easier, so we used it in our commute to the city and brought another e-scooter along for comparison. We absolutely fell in love with this dolly feature, as handling a big folded-up scooter in a cramped subway car can be stressful and difficult to manage. But Glion has engineered their scooter to really simplify that process. The two-wheel dolly and pull-out handle keep it from wobbling all over the place, which we had previously had problems with. Going down the elevators, escalators, standing, and sitting all became a breeze as the thing stands up on its own. Another unique feature of the Glion dolly are the wide folding handlebars which make turning easier and breaking down smaller. I liked the initial setup, all I did was open the box and unfold the scooter. The 5.5 inch ride height is comfortable and the handlebars have three adjustable lock-in positions. However, the front shock absorber was anything but and made for a bumpy ride comparable to scooters without any shocks at all which isn't a problem on smoother pavement, but can get annoying going over potholes. Even though there's this shock looking thing here, uh, mm. it didn't feel like it at all. Right, I noticed earlier when I was standing on the scooter, the shock right. is, it's so small and it compresses under my weight already all the way, so you're not really getting any actual shock absorption out of it. You're right. really just getting whatever compression the tire has, which isn't a lot. So that's a problem with, uh, even on cars, you run, run flat tires, you get a much stiffer ride out of it. Uh -huh. And that applies to smaller tires here as well. Riding the scooter is simple. If you want the electric motor engaged, press and hold the power button until the display turns on. Then using the twist throttle on the right-hand side, pull towards you. The electric brakes work the same way on the left-hand side. So Aaron, I noticed that there's no regenerative braking on this scooter. Uh, regenerative braking is when you slow down using the brakes and it recharges the battery with the motor. Exactly. So regenerative braking is great on something like an electric car or mm -hmm. something big, but when it's on something so small, there's not a lot of kinetic energy to regain from regenerative braking. So it's not really going to get you a lot of charge back. Yeah. So for example, if you took the entire range of this scooter, which is about 15 miles. Uh, if you stopped full stop every minute, you'd get about one more minute of riding in at the end of the whole trip, so. Which is nothing. Which is nothing. And adding all the extra components and complexity to that just isn't worth it for the people who make this. There is a rear fender stomp brake that will give you a much shorter stopping distance. Turning on the headlights is easy. While the scooter is on, press the big red button. A safety bell is located on the left handle as well. Folding up the Glion involves lowering the handlebar, collapsing the handles, pressing down on the release bar, and lowering to the ground. To use the convenient luggage-like handle, pick up the folded scooter on the front end, and like on any suitcase, press and pull up on the hidden handle. The charging port is in a good spot, where dirt won't find its way in. The Glion has an LG lithium-ion 36-volt 7.8 amp-hour battery, which charges in about three and a half hours, giving it a stated 15-mile range. The information displayed on the screen is sort of difficult to see in the daytime, and there is no speedometer. All it shows is the battery level, which I haven't found useful. The Glion is a reliable little scooter, but it is certainly not the fastest one on the market. The 250-watt brushless electric hub motor with a stated 600-watt peak could get me up to about 13 miles per hour. The frame is made out of aircraft-grade aluminum alloy weighing in at 28 pounds. The Glion 225 is rear-wheel drive, as opposed to other scooters we've reviewed. I found this to be extremely problematic, because when the motor engages, it sends the back of the scooter forwards and pops into a sort of uncontrollable wheelie. This could be dangerous and smash the heavy end of the scooter into a passerby, which almost happened to me, and it smashed into a granite wall. Luckily, the sturdy aluminum body was able to take the hit. This all isn't helped by the less than ideal throttle mechanism, which feels inexpensive, a bit unresponsive, and jerky. All in all, the Glion is not the beefiest scooter available online. However, you get what you pay for here. 
a commuter-friendly scooter with a medium range and a touchy throttle. Check out Glion Scooter's website for more information on how to buy. We rate products 1 to 10 on our 6-point scale. We give the Glion a 4 for comfort. I never got used to the rear motor push when starting up the scooter. For build quality, five. $500 is not a lot of money for an electric scooter, but some of the parts suffered for it. Aesthetics, four. It's a utilitarian scooter. Performance, six. This is nothing special in its price range. Extras and unique features, nine. The compact suitcase-esque dolly feature is not something found on other scooters, and it certainly came in handy. Overall value is a six. It's a good price for a scooter that will get you around town without stress. If you are looking for a fun scooter to race down the street on, this may not be for you. But honestly, if I was commuting into the city every day, riding in parking lots from the car to the station, this is absolutely the one I would want, solely because of the fold-up dolly feature. As a last-mile e-mobility solution for commuters, it certainly makes a huge difference. Thank you for watching Now You Know. For more tech reviews, subscribe below. Please like, share, and comment any tech you'd like to see us review in the future.